if I'm falling for you, then what is supposed to happen? Hmm, interesting. I love my girlfriend. Thank you. I love her. Okay, what do you want to say? And after losing the awaited task yesterday, I would rather say that the housemates had um, some little, little time. Yesterday was kind of chill last night, I mean, of course. But then they had the pool party where everyone had to express themselves and have a good time. <laughs> Oh my god, literally these guys thought they were going to win that with that task. Now it's what Papa Ghost and a number of people did. <laughs> Anyways, I want to talk about the fact that is Papa Ghost acting on the said accusation that he denied last week? Because what am I saying? Some little, little, you know, here and there. Anyway, so what is it? Y'all yeah, remember that Lawrence had to ask uh, Papa Ghost last week, last eviction, that um, we heard the, um, the the confessions or the gossip or the conversation you were having with the likes of Willie and Young Papi, talking about how Jareed uh, is spending some little, little time in the bathroom and some unique places. And you were saying that you wish you could switch places or you could have a little bit of that fun, of that enjoyment that he alone is enjoying in the house with like two, three ladies. And then, of course, Papa Ghost denied it, saying that, oh, he cannot remember ever saying that, that that is probably a mistake from Lawrence's side. He didn't hear well. And I was like, oops, it's the little job for me. Not until yesterday night's pool party, this guy was seen dancing with Z and Liam. I like, they were having a good time. At some point, he would have his hands on their waist and be looking at them and they would all be smiling and dancing. He would turn and face them. You know, it was just all a good time. I'm like, okay. So are you getting a little bit of that that you've always craved? Like, you know, have a taste, just the surface taste because except he really wants to mess things up with Lerato. And if he has a girlfriend outside the house, which I don't think he has because he, we would have known by now, but maybe I didn't get to hear that. Except he wants to mince things up. And then he wouldn't push this further. Because if he tries to push further, Z is actually quite close with young puppy. Liema is kind of finding a place of, you know, a man or a ship thing she's going to trend on. But in the long run, it might just work against Papa Ghost. Yes. Talking about Liema. <laughs> Liema got rejected on live television. Yes. She literally got rejected. And I don't know how she's going to handle that. Not until after, not after what she did in the live eviction last time. So y'all can remember when, um, Lawrence had to ask, um, Liema about what she's having with Mac Jr. And, you know, asking her about their deep communication and deep vibe and everything. How did she find comfort in that? She responded. And then Lawrence was like, uh, now, so are you saying that, what would you say between you, between Mac Jr. and Jareed? Whom do you like more? Whom do you prefer? And she was like, it's definitely Jareed. She has more connection. She likes him more. It's just a deeper vibe. And she would not, she sort of came off as she would not trade you for anything. Now we saw, um, Mac Jr.'s face when she said those things. I'm like, okay, this is a man that would not like such, uh, drama on live television. After that, they got quite close and it was nice to see, right? But then, uh, Mac Jr. had been taking his time and uh, referring to his girlfriend how he wouldn't want her to take anything he does uh, out of the ordinary or out of place and then yesterday during the pool party i think before the pool party got heated we noticed how liema and mac jr were playing this uh game of bricks you know those wooden bricks you'd be removing one by one until someone removes one and then it falls apart and then she was now you know hinting to him that she knows that he is falling for her, that he likes her and he cannot help himself. And he's like, okay, and so what if I'm falling for you? I have a girlfriend outside of the house. I'm not going to leave her. I'm not going to play that game. I'm like, oops, boy. <laughs>
girl was rejected on live television and let's see how she's going to handle that going forward now she would know where her place is basically mm -hmm. and talking about people who are shipping off and on i do not understand how um you know yolanda is just still playing this off and on love with my keke because yesterday yolanda was really drunk i mean that girl literally got drunk i heard when she was saying uh she said something around the lines of she wants to assault somebody was he sinai or whom and we know that that is a no no like literally somebody had to even tell her that except she wants to get another strike because this thing you're saying is not a good thing so of course she was upstairs very drunk and almost sleeping and then here was makeke sitting beside her i think that was after she said the thing about assaulting someone and you know he was talking to her lightly she was mumbling words i was like he's supposed to be lying down here not sitting and then he was like he's not going to sleep over here he's going to lie down but he's not going to sleep and then of course she opened a blanket had her legs over his body and then soon he turned and faced her and they i think that's when she said um his hand is this is where his hand is supposed to be that is over her back it's like when two people cut the on bed and i'm like oh <laughs> you should stop it stop it i don't like it stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> It is not my fault that I like love. Duh. Duh. I just really hope that my keke's mind will come to one place. Because if he's serious, he could have an amazing relationship with this lady, even outside of the house. But if it's not, it's going to be a problem. And he should start building that bridge right now. Because when they all go out, they'll start seeing videos of what this person said about home and that. And it's just going to be a whole roller coaster of trouble. If I'm 23 and you're like 21. But then when I'm with you and we're walking together, you don't look 21. I was dating a 24-year-old at 18. I was dating a 17-year-old. I was dating a 24-year-old. I was dating a 24-year-old. To be honest, for this conversation, I don't know if I should say that these housemates are just talking about the importance of age or the importance of acting matured. So, um, Mark Jr., uh, Sinaye, and Pumi and Liema, they were around the kitchen cooking breakfast, obviously, after their exercise this morning. And here was Pumi talking about how she doesn't mind if she's 23 and she's dating a 21 year old as long as when they are in public when he's around her he doesn't look it right i feel in in general she's talking about he doesn't need to act it so no matter how old you are as long as you're an adult and even if you're younger than her but you act way more matured or you know very manly then she doesn't have an issue with that you guys can date and stuff liema confirmed that that you know she needs to act like a man treat her like a woman and be the king and stuff she's just like a man who can take control and treat her and protect her and stuff like that and then we heard where um mark jr talked spoke about how he was 18 and dating a 24 year old and the lady really enjoyed it and everything and of course uh Mpumi revealed that she was around 18 when she was dating a 14 or 16 year old something around those lines i'm like ah girl you didn't start today you didn't start today anyways guys that's all i have for you on this video stick around and i'll bring you more videos today